as I've said in the comments in the last video, if you know what you're doing, this is going to be really painful for you. <laughs> All right then. So today we are installing Debian 13. So yeah, let's get on with it, shall we? So it starts from the moment I double click Debian. Three, two, one, go. Okay, nice installer. All very familiar. Okay, that's English. Which we do that. What do we do next? And next we've got, no, we're not in New York. We are in London. So we'll do that. We want UK, UK, uh, default, wait, what? Okay, that's fine. And then what we want to do is not do that disk. See that, I quite like this. Uh, is this a K is this KDE's installer? Because it's very similar, but I actually quite like it because you can very quickly see which drive is which. So I'm going to go for that one. I'm going to erase the disk. So currently it's unpartitioned because I wiped it already. And then afterwards it's going to do, yep, yeah, okay, that's perfect. Um, do that. And then we're going to do, uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, we're going to moan at me because the password is terrible. Oh, so it actually won't let me go past with that password. What about that? Oh my God. Okay, uh, so we'll go, I'm going to forget that. Oh my God, there we go. Right, okay, so summary. It's going to do that, 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 and then it's going to do all that. Let's go. So it'll be interesting to see how long this one takes. So last time we covered off OpenSUSE, and I did have a little bit of trouble, but I have learned from that. So, but I, I, I'm kind of considering going down the same path, you know, because I installed Steam as a flat pack on Solus and it worked fine. But then I tried installing Steam as a flat pack on OpenSUSE and it didn't work. So I had to uninstall that and install the native version. And then that did work. Should I go down the same route and install the flat pack one on all of them? I think I should, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm going to, because that's kind of the same. I'm going to try and keep it consistent, right? So let's do that. You can toggle the log. Oh, there we go. You can watch what's going on. Let's check the time. Okay. Actually, the clock's different on that. It's the wrong time. It's, um, that's not BST, is it? But it's okay, because that's just a live um, disk, right? So let me know in the comments, who is using Debian 13 right now? Or are you using a Debian derivative like Ubuntu or... Mint. Is Mint, I think Mint's a boot to. Uh, it's, it's really, really strange how it all, it all comes together, isn't it? I know Debian is like a base distro and then Ubuntu is a derivative of Debian. Is Mint a derivative of Debian or is it a derivative of Ubuntu? Uh, how does that all work? I might do a video on that, actually. Do some research and then stick a video together covering all of the different base distros, derivatives, and then uh, maybe cover off some of the independents as well, because obviously the Solus one was the first one I did. That was an independent, uh, not based off of any other base. We shall see. Also, let me know in the comments below, do you think I should do a gaming one of these where I look at six, five or six different gaming distros? I think that kind of suits the channel better. But what I'm trying to do with these ones is to understand and learn about why perhaps gaming distros are better. And I'm already starting to see the why. <laughs> um, although it's not been too bad. So yeah. Again, what's the package? Oh, it's Debian. So this is going to be apt, isn't it? It's apt. I'm pretty sure it's short for something. Is it aptitude? Again, let me know in the comments below what, what is apt. I could Google it right now, but I'm installing it. So, okay. So apt get. Yep, I remember that. So I have messed about a little bit with Ubuntu. In fact, I installed Ubuntu on an old Mac, got it working, and then put Mac OS back on it. And I've messed around with the, uh, Kali a bit as well, mainly in a WSL, a Windows subsystem for Linux. So you didn't get the full benefit of it, really. What's Squid got to do any with anything? Users share Calamares. Isn't Calamares a squid? Right, restart now, restart now. Go. No, wait, what? Done. I won't do the explosion like I did last time. Oh, I don't know why it goes purple like that or green. That's fine. Yep, we can do that. Come on, KDE, do your thing. Now, the problem I have is my main screen's in front of me, but that's showing OBS. And then the actual screen I need to look at is over to my right. Uh, that's wrong. Did I get it right? Because that would have been really awkward if I'd forgotten that, wouldn't it? Okay, here we go. So we're going to go click through here. Next, simple by default. So this is all of the KDE stuff. I'm pretty sure... 
there was a thing about installing other thingies. Right, so we've got updates. Let's do the updates. Uh, view updates. Um, did I actually click it? Now I've got no idea what this iBus notification is, so I'm just going to ignore it. We're going to update all, and we're going to have to authenticate. So, okay, probably going to make me reboot, but it's got to be done. So what is it doing? It's doing some stuff I've never heard of. It's doing Firefox, base desktop. Oh, lots of Firefox. Jesus. And some Git stuff, some fonts uh, in it, some libraries, LibreOffice updates. What else? Uh, we've got, Jesus, that's a lot of LibreOffice. And some more libraries, um, whatever that is. Modem manager, wait, what? Orca, I don't know what that is. Python, okay, yeah, Samba, yeah, okay. U disks, U dev, Ugh. So no, I didn't notice a uh, kernel. H I J K H A B F G H I J K. So no, there's no kernel updates on there. But it's making its way through, isn't it? Does it do it in order? Oh, it's just installing everything. Okay. Is that the progress bar there? Yeah, it looks like that. It's the progress bar. What happens if I click on the progress bar? Oh, okay. Makes it bigger. So as I say, I always do the updates first. Practice what I preach. Come on, come on. Don't do Windows and just like stop right near the end and sit there for half an hour thought we were past that now right there we go so we're up to date let's quickly hit the refresh we good we good right okay so it didn't ask me to reboot so that's pretty cool so what we're going to do is we're going to go into discover and then we're going to go steam is that going to just show up this time no add to steam maybe i do need to re restart steam what's saying short relevance sort of a name add non-steam games right i'm just going to reboot just very quickly restart come on so I do need to learn how to add extra repos because I haven't learned how to do that yet. Because when I did Fedora, there was an option as I went, as I clicked through the boxes where it said, did you want to add third party repos? So I just click go and I've not had to do it again since. It's not something I've really had to learn. So if you know, pop something in the comments below. I'm explaining how you would go about updating or adding extra repos. Now, I'm not even sure this is work, but this is just my how my brain works. So I've got a feeling it won't be here because it's going to be in a different repo. Okay, so what happens then if I go into... See, see would it be in utilities? Something, let me have a look, repo. It must be an easy way to add extra repos, right? Surely, system settings? No, that's all uh, settings, here we go. Aha, OBS testing firmware, non-free. So how do we open up? settings missing back ends integrates flat back pack application oh maybe it's that one um so maybe it's only showing we've done that now is that done home oops uh and steam okay so that hasn't worked okay okay so i'm going to go to console sudo apt get install steam oh is that right okay so i'm gonna to have to google it aren't i um, add repos to Debian. Reject all. How to add a report from shell. Okay. No. Um, it's talking about Ubuntu. Um, uh, Debian 13 for Steam. Right. Uh, to add repos, first enable that. So saying that I need to add the 32 bit architecture and then sources list and then but they're already on there aren't they maybe i just need to do that actually because that to me says um use administrator privileges to add the 32-bit architecture so that's that seems seems legit right okay just move that over there move that over there right okay so then we've got um you need to add the contrib and non-free components. So we need to go into nano. Okay, that's fine, we can do that. What's in there already? Trixie updates, right, okay. And then it says we need to add these two. All right, let's do it. Oh, don't wanna do that, do we? Copy, um, so we're gonna add that at the end. Can I just literally go and edit that? Oh, it's at the top, wait. Can't see it, it's on a smaller screen. Um, so we're going to put that in and call that um, uh, contrib and uh, non-free. And then we're going to put that in there. I, I can't see that in there already. Can you? 
this all in, right? I don't get this. They're all the same. Oh, unless it's this bit after that's important. Okay. Um, so we're going to write that out. Uh, yes. And then we're going to exit that. X, oh, exit that. We'll minimize that for now. Now, has that done any, has it done it? Will it be in here now? Do I need to do something different in here now? Steam. No. Okay. Do I need to restart it? Reboot? No. Restart? No. Okay. Pretty sure you can do that on Fedora. As I've said in the comments in the last video, if you know what you're doing, this is going to be really painful for you. <laughs> right. Okay. So we'll leave that there. I don't, well, what's this down here? Conqueror. I've got no idea what that is. Okay. So updates, refresh. Okay. Home. Now I really am starting to see why um, Valve Steam. No, nope, don't use that. Not legit. I'm really starting to see why people use the gaming ones because all this stuff would have been done for me already. Okay. So then we're going to go install Steam on uh, Debian 13. Oh well, okay. So there are uh, packages available for that, that, and that. Four, you can sort of, you must ensure that you have the best drivers for your card and that you have necessary blah, blah, blah. So AMD, the best support, um, compatibility performance, open source ones, always recommended, that's fine. Be sure to follow the guide to install the multi-art hybrids for AMD. Consider enabling that for older cards. Um, installing Steam. So there, Bookworm, oh, so that's different. So append a contrib component to the main line in your, oh God, okay. Right, um, pop that there. Um, so we're just gonna add that, I think, uh, do that. I'm trying to click on it. Nope, that's wrong. Bookworm, okay, so that is different. Okay, and then it says you need to, we've already done that, but we're gonna do it again, just in case. Ah, uh, maybe it's the update bit that I need to do. And it's just app update, is it? Oh, that's <laughs> what we're doing. I'm an idiot. See, I told you, if you know what you're doing, this is going to be painful. It's going to need sudo, isn't it? And then there we go. Come on. Are we done? Warning. We've got the multiple in, in there multiple times, have we? All packages are up to date. Target DEP 11, target DEP 11, transition packages configured multiple times. Okay. Sudo apt. Do you have, have to type install Steam? <laughs> let's go now i am interested to see if the flat pack version is there I, i'm starting to get it now i'm starting to get why a lot of people are saying you need to do you're better off going down the gaming distros and then just do steam steam proprietary binary only software uh, steam will be installed into yeah uh, wait what okay let's do it let's get the control don't we? Oh, what game were we doing? Oh, Machine Machine Mode, wasn't it? Yay! Right, okay. So, as usual, I skipped a little bit then because it gives away loads of information that I want to share with you, really. Uh, so then we're going to go to um, Library and then Machine to keep it consistent across. So we are on the... So this is just going to work. I'm very, very confident that this is going to... Wait, what? Uh, this device, install. I don't want to do that. In fact, I disabled it. Start and download. Let's go. Because I started it from console or from terminal. Which you can see what's going on. So this is a little bit quicker than what we faced last week with OpenSUSE. Whilst it's doing that, I'm going to have a quick look in Discover. And then, oh, it's up. Yeah, so there we go. So it's got to be in here now, right? It's got to be in here now, right? Steam installer. So I'm guessing that's what you would do. Right, okay. Play. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, we don't want you. To, we don't want that. Why are you telling me to stream it from? I don't want to do that. This device, right? Okay. There we go. I've got the controller ready. Is the controller working? Is the controller working? Okay. So that background means yes, the controller's working. Stop clock. Stop the clock. Stop clock. So that background there means the the current Valve Proton is having difficulty processing the, the the video so there you go that was debian 13. i'm learning a lot from doing this series so it's definitely been worth it if you've made it this far what the hell is wrong with you make sure you put a comment down below so i know that you've got this far 
and even if you can't be bothered to put a comment just do an emoji thank you so much for watching you guys take care and i'll catch you in the next one which is i'm not going to tell you you're gonna have to find out <laughs>